Today we're going to learn how to do what they call dimpled rings. Dimpled rings look like a little heart shape. Now you can put picos off the side, join it, make a chain of little dimpled rings. You could join up here at the top of the ring. There are several different places you could join to this. It adds a little more embellishment to your tatting so it's not just rings and chains. So, I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, granted, this is no set pattern, all right? This is generic, and it's for teaching purposes only. So, for starters, we're going to wrap our hand in our ring loom, okay? And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in eight double stitches. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, let's count them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's stretch our ring out some, give us more room for slack. Next thing you're going to do is put a very small pico in, very small, one that you can barely notice, all right? After you get your pico in, you put in three more double stitches. So one, two, and three. Oops, dropped my shuttle. Okay, we've got our double stitches in. Now, here's what you do next. You'll get your little crochet hook or the hook on the end of your shuttle. You grab that thread in the ring and pull it up like you're joining to the pico. Just a regular join. Put your shuttle through. Close it up. Now this is where this can get fidgety because you're working with such small space you have to pull that in till it's tight and snug as with any pico you're joining to. Okay. Once you get that all snugged up and everything in place, hold it in the pinch and do another double stitch. Pull it over to tighten everything down. Then do the other half of that double stitch. Now let's open our ring. What that does when you open the ring after doing that, it pulls all that work tight. Now we're going to add seven more double stitches. So we've got one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Please excuse my little doggie. She's got her a new toy and she is giving it a workout. All right, here we go. Now we have our ring done. Now what you want to do is close this ring up. Hold it tight in the pinch and it's going to be a little snug when you pull on it so work with it try not to break your thread after you get it closed then push everything in place adjust as with all your tatting you want to adjust and there you have it a dimpled ring you can see the little point right here and that will give you a heart shape. So I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned how to use this element in many different ways in your tatting. You can make a bracelet if you do a chain of these with picos on each side. You can make you a cute little heart shape bracelet. Put trim on a little girl's dress. Things like that. So until next time, happy tatting. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.